Hey everybody! Welcome back to Northern Line Place of Binding of Isaac Afterbirth. Yesterday's daily was great, but we didn't do so hot. We were like top probably 10, 20%. Not too amazing, but we did win. Uh, Mathis ended up, once you factor out the cheaters there, probably in the top maybe 75. That's pretty good. Kate beat me too, as did a Luke. I'll be looking to reclaim my crown a little bit. We're going to Satan as Eden. Really good scores here out of uh, Yorkshire Tom and the Jamer. And, you know, Gen S90, not to be insulting or patronizing, but to finish a run is actually pretty good. So we start with the guppy item. We start with the uh, Book of Revelations here. Um, I'll just use Book of Revelations right away. 36,000 points. I gotta think about that. 36,000 points probably means boss rush and hush. Which is encouraging, means that there's a, you know, seams on this run to be opened, or at least just maybe it just starts with high damage. Um, get a Degas room, which I'll just pop right away. I'll probably go to our curse room right off the bat and then teleport out to save half a spirit heart. We got lots of uh, interesting opportunities to start with here. Two extra spirit hearts. Good God! Oh my Lord! We get the D7, which allows us to reroll rocks. I really don't understand the usefulness of the D7. Uh, I, I have never found a situation in which it's good. You, you, the idea is that you could reroll rocks into tinted rocks or pots, etc., etc. But uh, for right now, we have no bombs anyway. Maybe we could reroll some into TNT and actually get some value out of this. Let's give it a try. I mean, we might as well use it once, basically, right? Uh, that that allows you to reroll rewards. Sorry, it's the D12 that allows you to reroll rocks. Rerolling rewards was probably not the right idea here, and we will pay our punishment. Which allowed us to get two bombs. That was actually weirdly, totally worth it, as strange as it is. So there was a, uh, it was like an Isaac's room back there. Normally, I wouldn't go for it because it's it's a lot of backtracking, but I kind of feel like we have to, you know? It could be a black market or something like that. We do need one more bomb to make it completely uh, plausible, I guess. I'm going to pop the Devil card against Blue Famine. I feel like it's best to use the Devil card here, unless we're going to save it, you know, for the entirety of the game, until we get the boss rush, maybe. Um, because we're going to have a cube of meat in uh, about four seconds, and that cube of meat will allow us to do more damage as well. So we basically get a damage up from this guy, even if it might not look like it. Um, might as well use Book of Revelations right away. This is already an outstanding run. Of course, there is a uh, battery charge there that I could use for Book of Revelations, but... Uh, I don't feel like it's too necessary to get that done right now. This is also, like, I'm going a little slower than I'd like to go in the early game here, but let's keep in mind this is the Burning Basement. Uh, in some people's estimation, the hardest version of the basement. I don't really know. I, I've never really paid attention to it too much. I do walk into the fire sometimes by accident, like the ones that the enemies create. Um, so I, I'm not a huge fan of that, but mostly I'm just like, as long as it's not the flooded caves, what do I care? This is unfortunate, because if this is an Isaac's room, which I believe that it is, has it already been hit once? No. I'm going to use two bombs. I won't be able to even get under the bed unless there's a battery charge in here, but there was nothing to do anyway. Can we even sleep in it? No. Okay, so that was just a waste of two bombs for, you know, not much actual purpose. Just shoot a couple of these, and we'll uh, we'll move along here. Very, very good start to a, an Eden run. I mean, we have... Nine and a half HP already? <laughs> That's not the norm. Normally you start with quite a bit less than that, so I'm excited about that. Let me just take a drink of my coffee here. Fantastic. Hope you guys have all had a uh, good uh, New Year and Christmas and the Hanukkah and Kwanzaa, whatever you may choose to celebrate this time of year. I always like today. Today is like m the first Monday back from holidays. You know, everybody's motivated, everybody's feeling good, everybody's going to change their lives. Everybody's, uh, you know, very amenable, very nice to speak with. People are actually, you know, sad to be back at work, but also, you know, they've got a chip on their shoulder. They're like, I'm going to make this year my bitch. It's a nice change of pace, because in December, a lot of the, at least in adult life, in December... People are like, I'm just fucking riding out the year. <laughs> I'm just, if I can just live until January 1st, I'll be happy. Like, it's, I, I feel like that's a very adult reaction to New Year's a lot of the time. Uh, not, not necessarily me personally, but a, a lot of people for sure. Um, you know, you, you, you get exhausted by the end of the year, and then it's kind of like a clean slate. This is just ridiculous here. 
Uh, it's kind of like you get a clean uh, slate when the, the year rolls over, even if it is like an arbitrary milestone. Sometimes arbitrary milestones can be valuable. Like, uh, let, let's go check what this is first. Yeah, obviously we will take both of these. People are always cynical about, or some people are always cynical about New Year's resolutions. And I have to admit, uh, I, I've been there. Because you see people, you know, what are the common New Year's resolutions? It's like, oh, spend less money. Uh, you know, lose weight, exercise, uh, you know, be more outgoing or something like that. And then you look at it on a year-to-year -year basis, and you kind of treat it as like a binary thing, You're right? You're like, did, did I accomplish my goal? No, then I failed. But I, I kind of see, you know, resolutions as like an iterative process. Even if you didn't lose, you know, 40 pounds and that was your goal, if you worked at it for a couple of months, maybe you lost, you know, five or ten pounds, you're better off than you would have been if you hadn't taken that initiative. So I, I, I think you, uh, you need to be more optimistic, you know, not necessarily treat resolutions as the be-all, end-all. Instead, treat resolutions as, like, you know, something that motivates you to, to keep improving yourself in a way that's positive for, for you and the people around you. As I've talked about, you know, I have my own New Year's resolution this year, and that's to do more Let's Look Ats, and I've already taken some steps to, to start making that happen, and I'm excited to do so, get back into actually covering video games that are not just XCOM and Isaac and uh, occasionally Rainbow Six Siege. <laughs> Thank you for sticking by me during this period of relative transition. Uh, I, I know what you're thinking. We could probably teleport to Mega Satan right now. Uh, I'm going to wait on that, because our HP is not liable to get much worse. We might as well stick out the situation for now. It would be really nice if we could at least do boss rush before teleporting to... It wouldn't be Mega Satan, but before teleporting to the, uh, the lamb fight. But we're not... Yeah, we're not going to pull the trigger on that just yet, but uh, at some point in the future we will. I sh probably should use this just to ensure that we fight Pestilence here. I mean, getting a second level cube of meat, not that valuable, but getting a third and fourth level cube of meat, extremely nice. Inside of here, Eden's Blessing... 0.7 tiers upgrade at the very least. I will never, you know, look a gift horse in the mouth when it comes to Eden's Blessing again. Got another key. Actually will manage to pick up everything from that stone chest, despite it being over the rocks, which is pretty lucky. Throw a bomb down there. Pick up three bombs for one bomb. This is, uh, already, I think it's pretty obvious, but it's an outrageously powerful Eden run. We've got a lot of damage, a lot of DPS at least. Decent amounts of every consumable. I can't believe we managed to get that. We'll get our second level uh, ball of bandages here. Succubus is so amazing as a passive damage source. And we've got Deal with the Devil precedent already and a really, really great spacebar item, especially if we want to try to play uh, you know, a self-sacrifice mechanic to, to make the game go a little further. We're at six and a half minutes <clears throat> and just beat um, the Caves 1 in, like, no time flat. Like, that was, that was ridiculous. Ceremonial robes also helping our damage so much. But let's see what we got going on in here. 99 bombs. Certainly not bad. I, I can't really think of, of a great reason to be thrilled about it right now, except that I can now use bombs offensively as much as I please. But uh, certainly not a bad situation to be in. That was like a quarter of a second off from actually working properly. And even a champion peep doesn't offer too much resistance to us right now. I don't think we've been hit on this run yet either, which is pretty sweet. I mean, I've been I've taken damage from our uh, from our blood bank, but this is definitely more my speed as far as a daily goes. I know last time I said my speed was uh, you know hard runs that we can play really well on and make a difference. That's a, a little bit <clears throat> self filating would be a word that I'd like to use there, even though I don't know if it's ever been used in the English language before. But auto filleting maybe? Um, but uh, this one is, like, easy, but, like, I really like high damage, high rate of fire. Even more so than something like Mom's Knife or Brimstone. Just being able to, like, fill the screen is so satisfying. And also, like, protects you really well with, uh, you know, the, the limited amounts of knockback that you have and stuff like that. It's just a, a satisfying way to play the game, especially if we can get some more tier effects to back us up here. For now, I don't really see much reason to use Book of Revelations unless... I was going to see if it gave us points every time we used it, but no, it doesn't. So we'll, we'll wait until we lose uh, a Spirit Heart and can take advantage of that, I guess. Second level Bandage Girl is probably better than second level Cube of Meat for the, the Charm effect. Charm Tears are not the most amazing setup in the game, but they're certainly not bad. Tech 2 is going to be our first non-takeable item, as far as I'm concerned. And I'm not really worried about shops too much either right now. I mean, 
there is a chance we can get something uh, good in them, like more options or there's options would be particularly nice right now, so we don't have to exclusively get stuff like Tech 2, but I'm kind of feeling like if it ain't broke, don't fix it. We have the opportunity that's pretty rare on dailies right now to, to set a, a nice time and a nice score. I mean, we're going to be out of the caves, too, by nine minutes, probably. This is our next chance at a, uh, a deal with the devil as well. Unfortunately, we're not going to get it, but we will take little chat. Let's head down to the next floor. Um, Boss Rush and Hush are not going to be a challenge to get to. This is one of the fastest dailies we've had in a long time. We will absolutely crack into this. We're on Depths 1, so we should pop Book of Revelations now. You know, just set it and forget it, basically. Head of the Keeper is going to make it so the shops are non-optional anymore. We have to go to them because we're going to have so much money and so much time. Head of the Keeper, a really good item. Probably, like, I, I don't think it gives you statistical bonuses, so I think it's a little overrated as, like, a damage thing. Sometimes I've been guilty of, like, entering a room, getting Head of Keeper, and being like, Oh, my damage is so good now. I don't think it actually makes a difference. N upon, you know, playing with it more often. Playing with it more often, the Northern Lion story. But, uh... I, uh, I still love it for the... I mean, it's basically giving us, like, at least one cent per room. It's like, at this point in the game, that's like 20 cents per floor. That's huge. We got two of the same pill, so we'll finally take it. It was puberty. You know, not a bad pill. It's the it's the best of the pills that makes you go katonk. Yeah, okay. If we're gonna take damage, then I I would love to take damage to pick up something like missing page or uh, contract from below every single time. I wonder if it'll double the coins that we get from head of the keeper. Maybe, maybe not. But we're in that weird position where we actually, like, need nothing at all right now. <laughs> like, it doesn't double the coins, but, like, everything is wonderful. So I'm not going to worry about it too much either way. We could be out of this floor by 1030 if we wanted to, but, of course, I'm going to definitely make sure that we're giving it our all to get to the item room. It'd be pretty silly to pass that up. I mean, we're already going so fast, we don't need to worry about it. Um, and, again, self-sacrifice rooms. I don't think it's worth worrying about self-sacrifice rooms until... We get past Boss Rush. If we get past Boss Rush and we find one on, like, the Womb 1, I may consider it. Obviously, the best would be if we just found one on Shoal. But, uh, you can't guarantee it. It would be so nice to do Hush and then do the Self-Sacrifice Room after you beat Shoal. But, you know, we, we have no idea whether or not that's going to be possible. That's the first damage I think I've taken, which is pretty wild. Our item room ended up being pretty shitty. Um... We'll just work our way back to our shop, because we are, as of right now, like five minutes ahead of schedule. And we can't be too far away from our shop. We've already done maybe a dozen rooms so far. Does Humbling Bundle give you double the uh, double the coins when they drop? What you really want from that synergy is, like, Sackboy. It's the ability to spawn, like, a shit ton of pennies, and then also have a really good chance for those pennies to turn into sacks, give you battery charges... That's, I guess, one of the things we should be paying attention for from our shop. If we can manage to get that, we'll be uh, even more in the clear than we already are. And actually, maybe have a good chance for, like, an AWAS rune or something like that. But that doesn't that doesn't give us chances for more progress, now that I think about it. So, disregard. <clears throat> Seems like that's our shop. Still got 88 bombs. Should make every effort. Why just stand there? Like, that was dumb. Should make every effort to make this work for us. Two of hearts is better than uh, what we were holding, which was nothing. But it's worse than the Emperor card, which is incredible. How will we use the Emperor card? Probably to skip all of Shoal. But it, we, we shouldn't skip all of Shoal because uh, obviously we want to have the best chance possible of finding a self-sacrifice room. We could skip all of the dark room. Is that what we're really going to hold this for the very unlikely opportunity that we skip, or we can skip the entirety of the dark room by finding a self-sacrifice room on Shoal. Maybe. I mean, it would be nice, depending on how our run looks, to not have to deal with, uh, with all of the rooms leading up to the boss fight, which could actually be a little bit prohibitive from a damage standpoint. We could, of course, also teleport out of boss rush, which would be incredibly stupid, I think. At least short-sighted, considering how awesome our run looks right now. Why uh, give away the points for no reason, right? Ace of Spades, uh, absolutely happy to have it here. No real reason to pop a uh, Book of Revelations on this floor. Well, th there is a good reason if we get hit, but until we get hit, there's there's no real reason. 
I love Moonwalking Bandage Girl, man. What do you think? Fourth level Bandage Girl or not fourth level Bandage Girl? I think we've got a good chance at it. It's got to be like... I mean, the best case scenario is like 33% chance, right? Like, you can get a double trouble room, you can get Mr. Fred, you can fight Conquest. So it's not guaranteed, but, you know, a 33% chance of Bandage Girl is as basically as high as it gets. Uh, I got kind of caught out there. That's That's on me. Might as well use it once. Damage penalty is still really good. This is going to be, uh, at least as of right now, it feels like a daily I could be really proud of. At least the first few floors have gone exceptionally well. Could have been a little bit more diligent about actually going to extra rooms that I didn't, that were not compulsory, but uh, that's okay. Our time is is really amazing right now. What I would like, my best case scenario out of this floor right now is a really high damage. Doesn't have to be Brimstone or Mom's Knife, but the Death Touch would be a semi-conservative but still amazing upgrade. Um, basically to make it so boss rush is faster. Two of clubs. Might as well. Um, and we'll use the sun card so that we can actually see where we're going here. We want to save the emperor card because the teleport could be super valuable later. So there's another opportunity for Book of Revelations right here. Although, now that I think about it, why don't we just bomb our way uh, through the secret room here. Also, another best case scenario for this floor, maybe a good item room for the first time in a couple floors. Not that I'm complaining too hard. I mean, the run has been extremely kind to us, but last two uh, item rooms have not been amazing. Inside of our curse room, we get a bunch of spiders. Could be worse. And I don't mind fighting these invisible enemies when we have a uh, succubus basically just keeping them at bay. Again, there's a chance here that this is the last self-sacrifice room, but as of right now... It's got to be more advantageous to forego that penalty and get the bonuses for doing everything else. You know, it, instead of doing the self-sacrifice room and getting like a 10,000 point bonus or whatever it is, we'll, we, we get 10,000 points just from boss rush and uh, the hush fight. So everything else is just gravy on top of that. I guess I thought I hadn't been to the secret room. Ooh, almost walked on that. We made it a little close. Who dares wins, I guess. Thank you, Succubus, for at least keeping him at bay there. Could use a range upgrade, honestly. Magic Finger is interesting, but we don't really want it. Question mark card. Doesn't do anything for us right now, but I'll take it regardless, because I thought maybe it would be the Joker. Don't really want anything to do with that. This will be easy. Oh, now I've done it. I'm not going back for two extra bombs. At this point, we've earned that luxury of not having to go back for two extra bombs unless we really, really want to. Two extra keys, that's a no-brainer. And we'll be able to use Book of Revelations all we want uh, on, the, uh, on the boss rush section. No question about that. Such a good run, man. No deal with the devil is a little disappointing. Uh, it doesn't matter which one we take. Yeah, it doesn't matter which one we take, so we'll take the Polaroid. And probably we'll do Midas Touch. Just on the off chance we get like a... Um, we get a Unicorn Stump or something like that. Like At this point, well, starting on the next floor, we could totally say goodbye to uh, Book of Revelations. It's been amazing for us. It, it's been largely non-essential, but uh, its existence has definitely guaranteed our safety. More than we would have uh, originally anticipated. Succubus doing great things. We're going to blow up that skull. The skull has given us High Priestess, which I'll just pop immediately. Might as well make sure we get some value out of it. I'm going to save the Emperor card for sure. So Now, we the one thing that's kind of bad about this run right now is we don't really have a great, um, a great boss rush setup. You know, we got relatively low range. Damage is pretty good. Rate of fire is pretty good, but... You know, we, we got to be, like, right up in there. We're not killing waves instantly. We don't have a space bar item that, that changes that either, so... It's kind of a... I'm not going to say it's going to be a slog, necessarily, but it's going to be a little... Um, it's going to take some time. Third level Bandage Girl's helping out. She's doing what she can. We do have an Eternal Heart. I'm not sure how I feel about that. I guess 2 HP is always better than 1 HP when you get down to the wound, so... Like, 1 HP already takes you out of permanent Polaroid Invincibility. This this opens up some better Devil Deal chances, maybe. We could take two deals instead of just one. But perhaps more importantly, it's, it's liable to just be a wash. <laughs> Whether we have 1 HP or 2 HP is probably not likely to matter too much. Head of the Keeper is also... Like, I never really thought about this, but... That was dumb. Seems really nice from a daily perspective. Uh, 
just because you have the opportunity to get, like, I mean, what's a penny worth? It's like three points? Three extra points per room? That can add up to a few hundred over the course of a, an entire run. Nothing wrong with that. Probably should be placing a bomb to start every wave. Just seems like good business, you know? Carrying Queen's got to go before the red poops come out. That was very bad damage, but also Midas Touch and an opportunity to use. Woo! Book of Show, Book of Revelations, I should say. And this is like the worst wave ever, right here, huh? Double Cage and also the Angel Statue. There's like three enemies on the screen whose attacks are impossible for me to dodge. Nice. Okay, Bandage Girl's doing her thing. Almost got pegged there. How did I get a charge, like... How did I get a, a 5 out of 6 charge? That doesn't make any sense to me. You're supposed to get 2 for each wave here. Pretty much my worst nightmare right now is if I accidentally hit Q. As long as I don't accidentally hit Q and use my Emperor card, forcing me to do this all over again, we pretty much have zero concerns. I really can't get the, the best case scenario out of my head, man. The idea that we could uh, skip the entirety of the Dark Room, put down an amazing time, end an amazing score all in the same run. I mean, I'm a little guilty of kind of wanting it all on this one, but I think we've got the real potential to make it happen. Succubus got the kill for me there. It's always nice when the bomb works out perfectly. I guess uh, Bandage Girl has decided that the gate isn't worth her time. Maybe that's his champion ability, as it keeps Bandage Girl away. I don't really care, as long as she got the, the spider, life's okay. Probably got, like, two more waves after this one, so I'm thinking, like, this, one more, one more. I don't think we fought the second angel statue. I, again, I don't really know how Boss Rush works anymore. I just know the sound it makes when it takes a man's life. Still have Death, Death and Steven. It's, of course, the only two things we know to be inevitable in this world. And if we can get out of here by, like, 22 minutes, we have no problems whatsoever. Oh, man, a speed upgrade is actually awesome. I don't really care about the spun transformation. That's a lie. Of course I do care about the spun transformation, but it's just its not very likely to show up right now. Okay, we got all our coins. We got 20,000 points. It's a very good situation to be in. Let me take another sip of this coffee here. Okay. Now, the big story on this floor is going to be whether or not we have the chance to get a fourth level bandage girl. So I will just use um, Book of Revelations right off the bat. Should save keys, because we definitely do want to open everything on the hush fight. And who knows, maybe we actually get a decent uh, shop item on our hush fight that allows us the opportunity to uh, get rid of Book of Revelations. Not that we want to necessarily lose its defensive abilities, but... It's not necessarily the most relevant item for us now. Should also look for stuff that maybe could break the game on the on the hush fight. For example, not break the game, but Midas Touch would give us the opportunity to generate a lot of points. Shouldn't be taking this dumb damage. I've kind of reached that point in my run where I'm like, I'm mad that I'm not doing, I'm not clearing the room in like a single hit. And it's causing me to be a little bit of an idiot about the damage that I've taken. So let's stop with that. I found pills. Oh, two tarot cards. Hanged Man and Hanged Man. Okay. Lazarus Rags. I mean, it's you, you lose points for picking it up, but uh, it's kind of a fun item. We could use, like, Suicide King or something now. Is that a smart idea? No, that's, I mean, it seems like a terrible idea. But it could be fun, and if it gives us more items that give us a chance to have a cool synergy, then I'm for it. Always got to do these rooms if you find them and you've got the ability, because they give you the points for it and possibly nice consumable drops at the end as well. Keep this Emperor card, though. We should use the Emperor card on the Hush Fight just for maximum, like, what the fuckness, you know? Like, not even use it to get out of the fight, just use it to get into the fight. Like, mm, I wonder where the boss could be here. Okay, so we got Double Judgment. Yeah, okay. Take this, for sure. Then we can get some permanent Polaroid invincibility. Come on, Demon Judgment. You want to pay out with growth hormones. Or Roid Rage. 
Rosary bead, not necessarily bad. I don't want to spend too, too much time here. Good, we did get our HP. I fucked it up a little bit. Triple A battery. Yeah, probably better. Come on, you want to pay out. Should be holding this. Uh, what is this one? The guys. You know what? I'm willing to spend a spirit heart to try this out again. You know he's going to pay out with a syringe one of these days. Death card. You know what? I'm willing to spend another spirit heart to make this happen. I know it's a damage penalty, and we're going to want this HP for later. Oh my god, keep AAA battery, you jerk. Bombs are key. All right, let's let's do a little bit more exploration first. This would be a great time to get poison touch, man. Ah, it's okay. Life goes on. Ooh, we can go into our curse room for free, so that saves us a couple spirit arts, grants us bombs curse. Probably try to find our boss um, before I get too out of control on that, you know, demon judgment stuff. Just want, like, one more half red heart. We have so many keys now. Guppy's Tail would be a great pickup. I, I, I took Bombs or Key, and I was like, ah, Bombs are fine, Keys are fine. This is, this is not a problem. I didn't realize how not a problem it was. We could use Hanged Man and get that, but I, I really can't risk not being able to get to the Hush fight. I know we could use the Emperor to speed it up, but I'd really rather not. I'd really rather just save that for my Hail Mary play. And now I'm like, man, I'm... Totally fucking up my damage here for no reason. My damage penalty, I should say. This guy just never pays out, man. I believe that you will not give me mom's bottle of pills. There, that's... It was worth it in some ways. Synth oil is a great pickup. Was it worth the probably like 400 points I paid for it? Well, it depends on your perspective. I'm going to like killing things faster and doing more damage, which will probably cause me to take less damage, but not much less. It also gets us a lot closer to spun, which is what I'm more interested in. Um, really slowed down on this floor. Pretty much no negotiating or no, no uh, argument there. I shouldn't have picked up the half heart, but if we did, we might as well pick up the other half heart. This has got to be our boss fight just over the horizon here. I guess I did get hits. Blackheart is good. Remember, I mean, we still need HP to play self-sacrifice rooms, so... I, I have to go for the hush fight still. I believe. Sort of. Oh, they're not going to get 4th level bandage, girl. That's a little disappointing. But you know what? This is a good opportunity. A lot of people are going to disagree, but I think the ability to fly is worth it here. Terrible damage. Maybe we do pull the trigger on this right here. No! He's not supposed to get another attack. Let's see what we get on our deal with the devil first. We should get one. Or at least we have a good chance. No! Oh, 36,000? I think... I think we actually do go for self-sacrifice here. Oh, the damage penalty is going to be so high. No, we wait! We wait! I hate it, but I love it. The underdog's on top. I'm gonna shine, homies, when my heart stops. That's not how that song goes. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay, what, we're not looking for a self-sacrifice room on this floor. We're looking for a ticket to the hush fight. You know what? That's what we're doing on this floor. Finally pop the Emperor card. Why? I don't want to fuck around with Curse of the Lost, get lost, and then end up popping this four minutes later anyway. Of course, we could have just found our boss room, but I think it was... there was The chance was high enough that uh, this felt like a good use of our very limited resource. Now we have a deal with the devil. Okay, yeah, we, we do have one guppy item, so we have to take this. And we're gonna take Maw of the Void, which means we should probably take Book of Sin and just pop it once, which worked out very nicely. And then we get Maw of the Void, which one Mississippi tool, Mississippi three, Mississippi, allows us to generate pretty much as many black hearts as we want. All right, down to the next floor. This is going to be a little bit of a test. So we're already at... Um, this is actually really encouraging. We're already at 30,000 points. Beating Hush... Okay, don't make me put my money where my mouth is with Suicide King, please. Ooh, interesting. Beating Hush is... Oh my god, Sackboy. 
Okay, this one this one's easy. I mean, even though Explosivo is awesome, I think we probably want Capricorn. Yeah, it's that is a tough one though. Out of these ones, I think we probably want the speed upgrade plus Sagittarius. And then out of here, we definitely want Sackboy. I think we just keep the ability to fly. We have two fucking Suicide King cards. Why you gotta do me like that, game? I mean, we could use it, but I really need the HP for self-sacrifice. I could always use Suicide King. If we find one on Shoal, I could use Suicide King when we're down to one HP anyway. And try that out. Maybe get some more chests out of it. But um, Sackboy maybe can give us, like, unlimited HP. This is going to be a little slow, but that's okay. But what I was going to say is, we should feel encouraged. Because we're at 30,000 points. When we beat Hush, we'll be at roughly 36,000. 36,000 we know is good enough for top five on, or top 500, I should say, on the leaderboards. Uh, top five would be incredible. But um, we... Uh, that's like our, our floor for this run right now. So it's kind of like a nice uh, proof of concept, I guess, or an assurance that we've played pretty well on this run so far, even if I have made some mistakes that people would largely disagree with. Uh, we, we've done well. We are going to, we'll be like probably around 34,000, but then when we go down to the next floor, we'll get a point bonus. Uh, so if we're only able to beat Shoal, I'd be disappointed, but that's life. You know, it, it happens. We're still going to be, you know, confident that probably by the end of the day we'll be in the top 1,000. And keep in mind, we're going to get a nice point bonus for finishing the the run as well, usually at least. So many battery charges. I mean, we might as well, right? Like, we will get a small bit of damage done with our, our Conquest Beams of Light. World card, super valuable right now. Stand still. There we go. Oh, we did get hit there. Big thing, you know, don't lose so much HP that self-sacrifice becomes untenable. I mean, with Guppy's uh, collar, technically, I guess, we could self-sacrifice into perpetuity. The problem is we need to live in order to fight the Angel Statue. Really good hush fight so far. I've been hit twice. It's not outrageous. The number of sacks is pretty incredible. Just keep it up here. This is a really good daily. I think a lot of people are going to be in like the same position I'm in. Doing really well. But it's nice anyway just to have the, the chance, you know? I'm trying to farm these dudes with Maw of the Void. I'm just not getting the payout that I... I consider myself to need. We could wait for the Hush to start paying out with the uh, the enemies that are super easy and super uh, not tanky. In fact, that's probably like the most sensible option that I could muster here, but I'm just going to stand still. Just one wave of those guys drop like two black hearts. It saves me so much hassle. Okay, we got to move. At least we can finally start cracking these. Ooh. Two of clubs. Thank God it wasn't Suicide King accidentally. Alright, just get him killed. He's done. Death card. Emergency contact. I think we keep Suicide King as fucked up as it is. The world card. No, not interested. The magician. We'll take all our money. And now we could look for a black market? Like, it's not something I've really done too much, but uh, people do tell me that if you come back here and you try to blow these up, there's a really good chance to get a black market. At least a half-decent chance to get a black market. It's going to use a lot of bombs. Probably like 100 points. And of course, I didn't even place them very well. But we'll wait for that one if it, if it works. Maybe it's been patched out or something. Certainly hope not. Well, that one was tinted, which could be the difference. I've never actually made it work, but... I guess we're about to find out. Nope. <laughs> That's okay. Uh, we don't really want the other Suicide King. Do we know the pill? Explosive diarrhea. All right, let's get out of here. Remember, the next floor could very well be the last one. I hope it isn't, though. 
We're looking for a self-sacrifice room. We've already got 35,000. It's good, but it could be better. Oh, I really shouldn't have blown that out, but at least we got a spirit heart out of it. Um, well, out of the room, at least. But I'm, I'm going to be endeavoring to kill enemies with Maw of the Void, so we have a chance to get a black heart out of it. Like, those guys would have been better to wait, but we did get two of these. So, I think step one of, like, finding enough spirit hearts to play self-sacrifice is, so far, a, a roaring success. Now we need step two, actually finding an opportunity to use the self-sacrifice room. Two sacks. Oh, yeah. Here we go. You got something. You can pay out with Dad's key, not that that does much for us. Fish head. Cricket's head. That's much better. Does Key Beggar pay out, like, exclusively in head-related items? Can't believe we got that out of there. If he does, then, you know, I wouldn't mind picking up a Guppy's head or something. Sack boy. I'm starting to think we definitely should have stuck with Book of Revelations, but it only really becomes relevant if we do find a self-sacrifice room. Kira Fonts. Very good. Two of Diamonds. I've used it, but not for any reason in particular. Well, so much for my good time. Please. Ah, I pushed it into the key beggar. I'm sorry. I tried. Try to say goodbye and I choke. Hey, try to walk away, but I stumble. And though I try to hide it, it's clear. Remaining lyrics in this Macy Gray song. I mean, we might as well play this dude. Wasting all our resources, but... More HP is worth it. Like, come on, though. Like, we could go a little faster. Thank you. Ended up not really being the speedy run I thought it was going to be. Okay, that's terrible damage to start with. You can at least use High Priestess to stamp out crime. Yes, okay. Use Maw of the Void more diligently. It, it'll work out for you. That was a 20 cent drop. That's ridiculous. There's our, our boss fight. No matter what, we have to kill our bosses. So Our boss, I should say. So we might as well come in here. Figure it out. I forgot that there were the bomb flies. That's such a stupid way to take damage there. If we end up finding a self-sacrifice room but can't, you know, follow it through to its logical conclusion, I'm going to be real salty with myself. There's basically no reason for that to have had to happen. Um, but it's still a good run. No, no question. I don't think we've squandered it really at all. I will say our points have... <laughs> our points have gone down. I don't like that too much. Oh, Jesus, no. Points have gone down since finishing the Hush fight. That's not something you like to see. There's a curse room. What am I relying on from that curse room? At this point, not too much. Alright, it's a dead end. Can the curse room give us anything to save the day? I don't think so. It's really, it all comes down to that lucky self-sacrifice room here. of the Lyle also doesn't do much, but I would have loved to have known about it before the boss fight, not that it would have made too much of a difference. Man, you're looking at this and you're saying, there's no self-sacrifice room, is there? Unfortunate, but life goes on. I think we're probably going to finish at like 38,000. I would expect us to be maybe top 300 or something. Could have been better. Um, you know, it probably would have been better to skip the Hush fight, I guess, and just go straight to Mega Satan, or straight to the Dark Room, but we couldn't have known that in advance. I, I'm not salty about today's daily. I think it was still really good. 38,000. We're in 188th. Yeah, we can't be sad about that. For now, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. Helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.